Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad that I've had this opportunity to share all of these things about God with you. And I'm especially thankful for you all today. You know, God created the world and everything in it. And he even created you. And I am so thankful that he did that. You know, God was just as careful in his creation of the moon, the sun, the stars, and all the things that he made. But he was just as careful when he created each one of you. And he is so creative. And I have some... Um, I wanted to read today through Genesis chapter 1. I thought it's a great place to start at the beginning of the Bible today. But before we do that, I want to congratulate all of you all who have just finished your school year. By the time you see this video, you will probably will all be out of school. And so I want to congratulate the ones who are moving up. We uh, Some that are moving to middle school, some that are moving to high school, and even those who are starting out their school career in kindergarten. They graduated from preschool and are moving up to kindergarten, and they're going to start going through uh, learning the things that all of us have had an opportunity to do when we went to school. And I am especially grateful for the teachers out there who helped prepare you all and help you to learn the things that you need to know. You know, God equipped them and created them just especially to do the jobs that they do. And so we are so thankful for them too. Well, let's start out. I thought it was really cool. Let's start out in Genesis chapter 1. And we're going to talk about God's creation. He is so creative. I don't know if you ever thought about it before. So let's, I, I printed some pictures off here. Some of them are pictures that I've taken. And other ones are from uh, other sources. And so I'm going to show you the first picture that came to mind when we read. And I'm going to go ahead and read the beginning of Genesis before we do this. I'm going to read the first verse of Genesis. It says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And so that dark void at all at once had light. All God had to say is, Let there be light, and boom, there it was. And then it says, God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. God said, Then let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. God called the vault sky. And I have a picture here I took of while we were on our vacation on in the uh, Bahamas. This is uh, Castaway Key, and there's the sky, and there's the ocean, and so I thought that was really cool uh, that God separated out the sky from the water, okay? And then the next thing God said, let there be plants, and let me see if I can find my picture here. My garden is doing really well. There's lots of beautiful plants coming up. In my garden, I have tomato plants, and I have bean plants, and I've got squash and jalapenos, and it's I'm really excited. It's starting to, the beans just started to come up. I'm going to have to string them up. They grow up a rope uh, uh, as they grow because they're string beans, so I'm really excited. I can't wait. I don't have a picture of it. I, I should have took a picture. Um, let's see. The next thing that it talked about is that... God created lights in the sky. And so I have some different pictures here. There's the moon that we took on vacation. There's another picture outside of our house of the moon. There's stars. And here is the sun on the horizon on the ocean. Some of my favorite pictures of the sun, the moon, and the stars. And I didn't take the stars picture. I don't have a telescope with a camera. But it's really neat to go out and look up at the sky. We went camping this last weekend and uh, there were some beautiful stars in the skies. And then next we know that God created living creatures. And so birds and fish. And I have some different birds and fish that we've taken on different trips that we've gone on. And then he created animals. And I've got some from the, one of the zoo trips that we took. 
I think these are from San Antonio or they're from, um, they might be from uh, Arizona. And then it said that God made man. And let's read the verse that talks about God making men. So it says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all of the creatures that moved on the ground. So God created man in his own image. He made them male and female. <coughs> Excuse me. So when God created everything, at the end of each one of those things, it tells us that God saw that it was good. So each time he created something, he looked back over it and he said it was good. And you know... God, when God created, he saved the best for last. It wasn't like he got tired or he got bored. He took as much care about creating the huge things like the universe and the moon and the stars and the mountains and all of those things. He took as much care as he cr did when he created the smallest insect. Um... Those are all things that he made out of nothing, and he created them all special with special jobs that each one of them are created to do. And he saved the best for last because he created man last. He made you, and you are special to him. We are the only thing in all of God's creation that it says that was made in his image. And... He made you exactly the way he planned. You know, you may be short, you may be tall, you may be smart, you may be athletic, you may be, you might have red hair, you might have freckles, you might have blonde hair, uh, you might be uh, really fast or really slow or, you know, each one of us are different. God made each one of us different, but his fingerprints are on us because he personally made each and every one of us. He he Then, when he created man, the special thing is that he breath, breathed his own breath into us to give us life. And that's really special that God uh, made each made human beings with in a particular way that was different from all of creation, yet special. And he made us to be like him. And you know, sin has come into our world and it's kind of marred the image of God in each of, of human beings. And so we work really hard as we grow in our faith and we mature in the things that we know about God and we choose to follow the things that God tells us to do, then that image begins to come forward again and we begin to look more and more like God created us to look like. He wants us to be like his son, Jesus. And as you grow, I hope you will continue to grow in your faith and that you will continue to uh, develop a better understanding of who God is and what God has done for each and every one of us. And as you move forward, uh, some of you will be going to high school next year and then, and then on to college. And I want you to think about as you're maturing and continuing to grow in your education Think about the plans that God has for you. You know, from Jeremiah 29, 11, it tells us that uh, God has plans for each and every one of us. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us a hope and a future. And so God has a plan for you too. And have you ever thought about what is God's plan? Why did he make me? And what is it that I am to do for him? And ask him and he will help you as you grow. Uh, to learn exactly what it is that God created you for. Let's pray, and I hope you'll come back and join us for another story time next time. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you that you made everything from nothing and that you made us special, that you made us to be like you. So, Lord, help us as we grow. Help us as we learn more about you as we read your word, as we speak to you in prayer, as we listen to your word preached in our church. Lord, help us to know exactly what it is that you made each and every one of us to be. And then help us to continue to look more and more like Jesus every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time.